Hey, what's going on, guys? My name is John. And I'm Kanisha. And welcome back. Oh, what happened? <laughs> <laughs> Are you ready? <laughs> Okay, so before we get started on today's topic, I want to give two special shout outs. One to my good man, Still. Uh, we served some time together in the military. And uh, right now I'm rocking one of his hats that he created, People's People. Um, I'm going to link the description to his Instagram down below. So make sure you guys go check that out. Um, I'm not going to talk too much about the culture because I really want you guys to read it and really feel it. And, um, you know, show, show him some support. Um, my next special shout out is to my sister and her fiance. Um, they have a YouTube channel and they're doing really good. Um, it's called the Ewing Empire. So go ahead and join their empire. Um, so if you want to see some great food reviews or some food challenges or just um, normal day to day life, definitely go check that channel out, man. It's really, it's really fun to watch. Um, so now, let's go ahead and get into today's topic. So today we thought we would come to everyone and share our personal debt history. Um, just to give you all an idea of where we started where we're headed. So, starting with John. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so she can put me on the spot because we were supposed to start with her. <laughs> but anyway, so I, I'm going to go ahead and start. So cool, let's go ahead and get this popping, right? So today, like she said, we're going we're gonna to talk about our debt history. Um, so, me personally, I had a lot of debt. Um, I had over $32,000 worth of debt. And that was a combination of student loans and credit cards. Um, so, I went to College State University in New York up in Delhi. So, shout out to the Broncos. If anybody ever watching this channel from Delhi, shout out to the Broncos. Um, and I did four years for an associate's degree. One, because I was a little knucklehead. Um, I guess I, I party too much and not, and not too much in the, not party too much in the books, but I party too much at the parties. But, uh, that's another story for another day. So anyway, after four years of the college, I racked up about 30, about 30, uh, I would say about $25,000 on student loans, right? And then, um, no. You know, it was about twenty five. No, it was it was twenty five. Let me let me get to the let me get to the story. Let me get to the story. Let me get to the. Story. Let me get to the story. It, it probably was about twenty seven. It's probably about twenty seven thousand dollars, right? But what happened was I was never paying it. So you know how like when you graduate, you get the six months of the grace period, right? Mm -hmm. I never paid it, right? So I was paying them like a minimum payment, which didn't even cover the interest, right? So the first three years, it went from twenty seven thousand to like thirty thousand, like in a heartbeat. So that's how we got that thirty thousand. Then I had like two thousand dollars of credit card debt because I was just balling. I thought I was balling, right? But I kept swapping that card. Um, but anyway, you want to share where you came from, or you want me to continue? Um. So for me, um. Most of my debt was came to a total of about eighty six thousand dollars, which is a big number. Um, most of it was from college and nursing school. I went to George Mason University, and I also went to a nursing school in Alexandria. And my student loans came up to about sixty thousand dollars. And then I got a brand new car because my first two cars gave me trouble. So that was twenty thousand. So yeah, it was about eighty six thousand dollars total. So as you guys see, we we acquired a lot of debt over the years, right? Um, and part of building, part of building wealth is to pay off the debt, right? So I told you guys how much I had, where it came from, right? And um, over the years, it took me about from actually start to finish. It took me about two and a half years to pay it off. But in the whole total grammar scheme, I guess whatever, it took about like five years or some change because I was only paying the interest. At first I wasn't paying the interest, I was paying like the minimum, which didn't cover the interest. Then I started paying the interest, but the principal would never go down. So I got educated on how to actually pay down your loans, right? 
Then I started paying the principal and the interest, and then I started seeing a slight decrease in it. Um, but I, so like I said, it came. It started for like about two and a half years when I finally paid them all off. So I paid my debt off um, about mid twenty nineteen. Um, I want to say actually, I remember the exact date, July seventeenth, twenty nineteen. I remember that because um, I was on the ship when I made that last payment. But anyway. So, um, like I said, I had about $32,000 total to pay off, and that was included my student loans and my credit cards. Uh, and it took me from like, actually, from actually start to finish, like I said, it took me about two and a half years. What about you, Pookie? Um, so, my debt was a total of $86,000, and I have brought it down to about $49,000 worth of debt. <laughs> still have 50% about 50% more to go but uh, this was done in the last few years cool man that's that's a big jump that's actually a huge jump you proud of yourself <laughs> I'm proud of you <laughs> <laughs> all right so how we did this um so I'm, I'm gonna keep it really short and simple on how I did it because I really want to explain how I did it in another video so please stay tuned by subscribing and liking this video and make sure you comment, all right? But so how I did it, I basically just took the snowball effect. Um, uh-uh. What? I'm saying a snowball effect. Nah, we, well, we both did the <laughs> snowball effect, but we did it in different, that's nah, it's probably the same thing. But anyway, I did the snowball effect, um, and she don't think that I did it right, but I still paid it off. Yeah, so I feel like you did low interest. We gonna we gonna talk about this in another video because I'm a, we, it's gonna be the same thing. But anyway, make sure you guys stay tuned by subscribing and liking. But how did you pay off yours? So I did the snowball effect. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Which is basically paying off the lowest loans first, and then say, uh, saving the biggest loan for last to tackle your debt. Yeah, it's actually uh, it's pretty cool, man. When you do it, because you get that when you when you first pay up that first loan, you get that feeling inside you like, damn, I could do it again. And you pay up the second one, right? And you're like, damn, I could do anything. And you just keep going with the shit, right? Um, but like we said, make sure you stay tuned because we're gonna make sure we're gonna uh, we're gonna go in full detail on how we did it, give you guys exact numbers and everything. So if you are struggling to pay off your student loans or any type of debt. Um, our next video is definitely going to be the one you need to watch. Um, Alright, so guys, man, we really appreciate you guys staying tuned to our channel. Thank you for watching this video. Again, go check out my man Still. Uh, he got some great caps. Some, uh, Yeah, man, they're really cool. Actually, I got another one right here for you. Boom. I don't know if you guys can see it. But bam. So definitely go check him out. Um, also, go, don't forget to go check out my sister. Uh, so make sure you guys hop on that Ewing Empire. Um, and again, man, we really appreciate you guys for taking the time out today to watch us. Um, please stay tuned because we are tracking our journey to building wealth. Um, guys, like like we told you guys before, if you haven't watched our first video, make sure you go watch that right now. That we just average people, man, who, who's documenting our journey to building wealth. Um, and we're just taking it one step at a time, right? As we, as, as you see, we spill it to you guys that we still in debt. You know what I'm saying? So, um, again, thank you so much for all the support. Um, please share this video if you uh, feel as though somebody needs to see this. Feel as though somebody, like you know somebody who's trying to build wealth and don't know where to go. Um, this will be a great spot for them to come. Check us out. All right, we see you guys in the next video. Peace. <laughs>